some users really like underclocking, and AMD has got an update for you. What's your minimum specification? So the latest update from AMD announced today is that they will be applying adaptive underclocking in future upcoming BIOS updates. So underclocking is as it sounds, you're literally reducing the voltage required for the processor. Now, when a processor comes out of the factory, uh, the idea is that each core based on the workload has a minimum voltage required for it to complete the workload without browning out, without it failing over in that workload. Now, for vendors, uh, for people who manufacture uh, processors, the idea is that they want this, uh, the voltage that the processors run at to be as near to the minimum as possible. This reduces power consumption and opportunistically increases turbo. Now, when you're producing 100,000, a million processors, you have to be kind of flexible on what those limits straight out of the factory are because you can't do them too low. Otherwise, you'll have a certain amount of silicon that doesn't meet those standards. But if it's too high, then the product overall becomes higher power consumption. So when you're thinking of the scale of hundreds of thousands of millions, it's quite a difficult thing to do. Now, what these companies will do is they will have adaptive technology inside the processors to try and you know ride as close to the rails as possible without being you know overly stupid such that the processors fail. Now, for an end user who's dealing with you know one or two CPUs, the ability to ride closer to the rails uh, is a lot more opportunistic. Uh, users can apply their own uh, voltage frequency curves to the processors that they run, assuming the processor allows that, of course, and get the best out of the processor in that way, something that perhaps AMD or Intel is unable to do straight from manufacturing. Now, this new tool from AMD called Perv Optimizer is part of the Pre Precision Boost Overdrive 2 package. Is is along those lines. It's rather than just applying a fixed reduced voltage offset based on low uh, low thread use and high thread use, uh, the system takes in all the additional details such as um, core loading, temperature, socket uh, power availability, and puts that all into an algorithm and cal calculates just what how much voltage can be reduced. So the curve optimizer will come out just to BIOSes first as part of Agisa 1180, um, which is due to come out around about December time with the first betas. Uh, some motherboards actually have it as part of Agisa 1100, but for widespread use, it's going to come out in 1180. And what users will be able to do is enable Precision Boost Overdrive 2, enable this curve optimizer setting, and then select between 0 and 30 what AMD is calling a count. A count... Uh, in their parlance means anywhere from say three millivolts to five millivolts so if you apply a 10 count un uh, curve optimizer to your processor that means anywhere between 30 millivolts and 50 millivolts will be reduced depending on the load now obviously at the higher load it's going to be more akin to 30 or perhaps even less than that but on the low loads um we've got 50 millivolts which means that the processors that the cores that aren't being used uh, will be in a lower power state perhaps giving the uh, the core that is being used more opportunity to boost. Now, let's have a look at AMD's slides going over this as that came through as part of our briefing. And this is, this is basically the graph that we were shown uh, with the orange here basically being your standard voltage pr frequency profile, and then the red here being you know, what can be done through this curve, uh, curve optimizer under vaulting. Uh, so with precision boost overdrive two, undervolting with curve optimizer. So no longer done just in a fixed millivolt stand. It's going to be doing counts. This is a gigabyte BIOS implementation. Um, one count, as I said, worth approximately three to five millivolts. Users can apply 30 counts, either as an undervolt or as an overvolt, depending on your processor. Um, and the algorithm is adaptive. It knows when and when not to take out voltage. Uh, AMD says that it's... Uh, best works with two core complexes and the fewest amount of cores per core complex. So in this case, the Ryzen 9 5900X is going to be the best results here. And uh, in the slides that AMD showed us, they're showing anywhere from you know, a 2% boost in performance with uh, single core loads up to a 10% boost in multi-threaded loads. The initial rollout, as I said, coming December with a GISA 1180. Um, this is only going to be for Ryzen 5000 processors. AMD said that uh, a lot of engineering work it went into making this happen. Unfortunately, it would require a lot more work for Ryzen 3000 to happen. So it's purely Ryzen 5000 for now. Um, 500 series motherboards supported. Uh, 400 series motherboards will be supported, though they're likely to be a little bit in the future when 
they start rolling out the beta passes for uh, Ryzen 5000 support as well. So, interesting. What do you think? Do you undervolt? Do you think you'll undervolt now with this new feature? Um, I'm interested to see if it actually works with eco mode because I'm trying to put the system together and I think I might be running it at 65 watts. So can I implement this and perhaps get a bit more frequency out of it? I don't know. We'll have to see. What's your feedback for AMD? Let us know in the comments. Thank you everybody for liking and subscribing. It really does help out the channel. And thank you to all the Patreons as well. Don't forget, what's your minimum voltage? Mm -hmm.